Hello and welcome to this AWS Media and Entertainment video tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to spend the next five minutes or so talking about ad insertion, or more specifically, AWS Elemental Media Tailor's prefetch feature. I'm Krista Whitehorn, and I'm a solutions architect at AWS specializing in our suite of media services. Before we look at how to use Media Tailor's prefetch API, Let's first look at how ad insertion works in its normal just-in-time mode. Here, I'm showing viewers on the right consuming a live video stream. As time moves on, new video segments are added and made available to the video player, whilst old ones are removed. When an ad break is signaled in the stream, Media Tailor uses the signaling information along with any dynamic session or player parameters and makes a call to an ad decision server requesting a list of ads to fill the break. Now this works well. There are, however, time constraints on how long Media Tailor can wait in response to the ADS because it needs to write the appropriate segments into the live manifest. This is more critical in programmatic ad bidding scenarios where there can be multiple platforms involved in the decisioning. Timing out an ad request can result in underfilled ad slots, which in turn is a missed revenue opportunity. Let's zoom out a little. In many cases, you know about ad breaks in advance. Maybe you have a playout system with a schedule of where the breaks are going to occur. Or you might be running a live sports events and know you have a break sometime within the next minute, but not know the exact timing. Media Tailor allows you to create a prefetch schedule to provide information about upcoming breaks ahead of time. You can create multiple schedules to prefetch ads for multiple breaks. A schedule consists of two main components. The retrieval window enables you to specify a time range of when Media Tailor should make a request to the ADS to prefetch ads. You can include dynamic variables as well, so you're not giving up personalization by prefetching. Doing this in advance means ad requests are not subject to the same time constraints that we saw in the just-in-time mode. It also means, of course, that ad transcoding can be performed in advance. Both of these increase the chances of a higher ad fill rate. The second component to the prefetch schedule is the consumption window. This gives Media Tailor the time range in which to place the ads into the stream. Whilst you're given freedom of where to place your retrieval window and your consumption windows, setting a large gap between the two may impact downstream ad tech platforms, which may not accept impression event beacons greater than an hour after the initial ad request. It is also valid to overlap the retrieval and consumption windows and use this as a mechanism to buy an extra few seconds in the ad decisioning time to reduce insertion latency. To that point, when a client makes a request to Media Tailor, it evaluates all of the prefetch schedules associated with the configuration. And if it finds a match, inserts the prefetched ads. The insertion time here is a lot faster because all of the decisioning work has already been done. There will be cases where Media Tailor doesn't find a match. Perhaps the viewer session started after the, re the retrieval window closed. Or a user pauses a DVR stream and resumes playback after the consumption window has ended. In these cases, Media Tailor will simply revert to the just-in-time model. This implementation is really flexible and allows you to adjust prefetch windows to match your use case, which may change throughout the day or across channels. Billing for ad insertion occurs in the way it always has done. When the ad marker for a user session triggers insertion, you are charged for that insertion. There is flexibility to call the API more frequently and closer to the ad break. If it's likely that ad break schedules will change often, you can update your prefect schedule accordingly. And please engage us to discuss more advanced use cases. 
perhaps using Stream ID to segment audience sessions into different prefetch groups, or to use avail matching criteria to define rules on when to use prefetch schedule or fall back to just in time add insertion. For further information, the QR code here links you through to the prefetch user guide. I hope this session has been useful and given you some insight into how MediaTailor's Prefetch API can help increase your ad fill rates. See you at the next video tutorial.